So the next area we're going to look at is standard form. Uh, we're going to look at how to enter standard form onto a calculator, how we then use it to change from standard form to an ordinary number, and then how we enter standard form in calculations. So the first example that I've got says about changing 2.65 times 10 to the power 6 into an ordinary number. So this will deal with the first two areas, entering it onto a calculator and changing it. So we turn our calculator on, <clears throat> and we just write it exactly as it says, really. 2.65. Now, we, we can enter times 10 to the power 6. Okay, that is one way we can enter it. If I just delete that, another way we can do it, after we've wrote our number, 2.65, we use our X10X button down at the bottom. If we press that, it comes up like this. And then we don't have to press the power button, we can just press 6. Okay, so that's how we enter it onto the screen. To then change it, we just press equals, and it gives me an answer. 2650000. So, two different ways to do it 2.65 times 10 to the power 6, or 2.65 use the X10X button and just press 6 so it looks like so. Now, for the second part, we've got a calculation. Calculations are usually given with the brackets. If they're not, you have to enter those brackets. So it's quite simple. So bracket to begin with, 2.4 x10x3. That's the first bracket done, so I close it. Okay, you can see 2.4 times 10 to the 3, exactly the same like this. Now my calculation asks me to multiply. Then I'm going to put my second lot of brackets in. 5.6, I'll move the calculator here so you can see, 5.6 x10x to the 5, close my brackets, equals, it gives me an answer, <clears throat> 1344000000.